Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you three easy ways to free up some disk space on your C drive without losing valuable data. This would also solve the problem of your C drive getting full automatically when in fact you haven't saved any major data to it or installed any heavy applications. Now, these three methods will work on virtually any version of Windows you run. And even if you are not running out of disk space yet, it's recommended you perform this process every once in a while, maybe after a couple of months or half a year, depending on how you use your PC. So let's get to it. As you can see here, I'm left with only 6.9 GB of disk space on my C drive. So I'm going to try to reclaim as much disk space as possible without losing useful data. The first method is to clean out cached Windows update. Now to do this, you go to your computer, click on this PC. From there, you go to your drive C, click on Windows folder, and then search for a folder named software distribution. Now in my case, I have just about 700 megabytes of data in this folder. Yours would vary depending on the software distribution files you have stored in it. Now it could go as large as 5 GB, so it can free up quite some space. So open the folder and select all the contents and hit the delete button from your keyboard. Now as you can see, it hasn't made any impact to my disk space yet. Until I go to empty my recycle bin, then I see that I've recovered some disk space. The second method is to perform a disk cleanup. To do that, you go to your search and type disk cleanup. Click on the disk cleanup icon from the search result. It will ask you to select the drive you want to clean up. In my case, I will leave it as C. Then click OK, and then the disk cleanup utility will run for some time, and you'll see this window here. Now, at the, on the top of this window, it shows you the amount of disk space you can free by running the cleanup utility. You can go through the list of files you are about to delete. It also shows the corresponding size of each file or folder. As you can see here, the bulk of my disk space is occupied by temporary files with a total of about 28 GB of disk space. Now since I don't need them anymore and I also don't need any of these files either, so I'm going to select all of them and click OK. Now, after the cleanup, let's go and check how much disk space we have freed. As you can see, it's only about one gigabyte uh, additional space. So what happened to the other 27 or so gigabyte? Let's find out. Now let's go back to our search and run the disk cleanup utility once again. As you can see here, it shows that you can still free up about 27 gigabytes of disk space. Now, select all files and click OK again and allow the utility to run. Then go back to your computer and check how much space you have recovered. Now you can see another partial recovery. Now I'm not sure why Windows wouldn't clean up all your files at once, but it doesn't take much time to run the cleanup utility. So maybe you have to go through a few iterations to recover all your disk space back. So after four iterations, I have recovered at least 25 gigabytes of disk space. So it was worth the time. The third method is to use size 
gigantic command on your Windows to reveal all files larger than 128 MB. To do that, you go to your computer and open your C drive. Then click the mouse in the search text box in the upper right corner of the window and type size column gigantic, just as shown on the screen. Then wait for Windows to list all your files larger than 128 MB. This could take a while depending on how much files you have on your system. Now, Microsoft believes that files from 1 to 128 MB and above is, you know, that's where the threshold for gigantic begins. So after listing these files, you can now see which files are taking the most space and see if there are files you no longer need. Now in my case, I don't need this Ubuntu installation files anymore. And if I check thoroughly, I'm going to see other files I don't need, but I'm just going to delete this. So I select the two Ubuntu installation files and click delete from my keyboard. Now always remember to empty your recycle bin after deleting unwanted files because only then will your disk space be freed. So here we go. At the end of the process, I was able to recover over 40 gigabytes of disk space from these three methods. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share with anyone who you think might find it useful as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for updates on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.